Hey guys, welcome to Atari Series 7, today I'm reviewing this, which is the Marvel Studios Marvel Legends, the first 10 years, Hulk vs. Hulkbuster set. And this thing is actually so big, the box, that it's hardly fitting in my little cabinet display thing here. But uh, yeah, this thing is massive, and it's really heavy too, um, but really cool, we got Marvel Studios, the first 10 years, I love how they kind of sneak the 10 in there. And then at the top, we have Marvel Studios, the first 10 years, we got Hulk and Hulkbuster, nice clear view of them, package, Legend series, Avengers logo, and the Avengers Age of Ultron logo down here. On this side, we have artwork from the movie that's compared with the other boxes, you know, once you have the full-on display of them. And then on the back, we have a bio for the Hulkbuster, which is pretty cool, a bio for the Hulk, and um, the picture, the picture of the Avengers Age of Ultron poster from 2015. So that's actually really cool, and this is set number seven in the series, and you can probably see King Shark and some of my other characters over there. Um, and then over here, we have a bio for the Avengers Age of Ultron movie. There's like three separate bios on here, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let's open this up. So here we have the Hulk and the Hulkbuster out of box and wow these things are massive um, they're really cool and I remember when the Hulk figure came out he came out in the Avengers Age Voltron toy line obviously this one's been repainted and I believe it has a new head sculpt and I actually thought about getting this guy when he came out but ultimately I decided against it and uh, that's kind of a decision I've regretted over the years so I'm really glad I didn't now now that I have this set. And uh, I have to say it's really cool. Again, it's got a new paint job, and I believe it has a new head sculpt. I'm not 100% pure about that. Um, but I think this is a screaming face, and it looks really good. They also put the red around the eyes, like Scarlet Witch is controlling him, and it just looks amazing. The hair is really good, too. You can also see the veins on him, which are just incredible. That's not a pun. That's really amazing how they did that around the neck and the arms and the chest hairs. They actually did the chest hairs, which is pretty cool. And then you can also see his pants, which look neat as well. They got some of that texture detailing, which is awesome. It has the black lines, and I believe these are the special pants that he has that doesn't like rip or anything because they kind of like grow. It was kind of weird in the film, uh, but I think in the movie they did have like the Avengers logo. I think it was like on the side, but that might have just been from concept art. It's been a long time since I've seen Age of Ultron, uh, but it looks pretty good. And then the feet are really good too. I really like how they did those. Um, but yeah, so really nice job with this Hulk action figure. It looks amazing. Um, I think if you have the original, you might not be too pleased that they're releasing this in this set. Uh, but if you're like me and you never pick that one up, this is a great opportunity to get an MCU Hulk. So yeah, you got a free 60 at the head. You can't really look up and down, and you have to understand that this is the older mold, so it's not as articulate as more of the newer ones, but I don't mind that as much. You got a free 60 at the arms, can swing out the shoulders, double jointed elbows, free 60 <coughs> at the... Uh, elbow as well, sorry about that, free 60 at the wrist, and they're on hinges, and then you can kind of do like this, you know, it's kind of like that ab crunch thing, can't really like go, well actually you can't go pretty far with that, that's actually really cool, and the legs are kind of those older design joints, so you can like swing it and bring it forwards and backwards, pretty cool, you got a free 60 sort of there, it's kind of stiff, double jointed knees, and it's kind of like on ankle rockers. So pretty good in terms of articulation, but the detail on this thing is amazing, I really love what they did with that. You know, if you're a huge Avengers Age of Ultron fan or Hulk fan, you're definitely going to love this. Now on to my favorite thing about this set, and the main thing in my opinion, the Hulkbuster. So yeah, um, I remember when this build figure came out, I thought about getting it, but ultimately I decided against it because I wasn't really collecting Legends at the time, but this thing is amazing, and I'm really glad I passed on that, just like the Hulk, because getting them in the set together is incredible, um, but I believe this is the pretty much the same Hulkbuster, but with more detailing. I believe that was more of a bright red, whereas this is a darker red. And uh, the detailing on the face is really good. I love the blue LEDs kind of, well, you know, it kind of looks like blue LEDs in the face. It looks awesome. It's got some nice gold at the head too, and the red, and wow, just all over this thing, the red and gold, it just looks amazing. It's got some silver bits there. Look at the arc reactor. That thing is amazing how they did that. And then over here we have on his arm, we have the silver, and I believe on the original this was just completely yellow, so it's nice to have some of that silver detailing in there. And then uh, more of that over here, which is cool. On the back of this guy, too, we have more of these silver things. And I don't believe these were painted on the original either, so it's nice that they've added that. And uh, just the wash on this looks incredible with the gold and the red and the silver. It's just really amazing and impressive. And then 
we have the feet again uh, which look really good as well so um yeah this thing is really cool really amazing and in terms of articulation on the Hulkbuster you got a 360 of the head you can look up and down there's actually some really good movement on here it's kind of loose and I like that you know some heads can be kind of stiff but this one just kind of looks up and down pretty good 360 of the arms swings out at the shoulder 360 there I believe this is just a single joint I can't really tell but yeah I think that's single jointed but I don't mind it and um, I don't think there's any wrist articulation, but mine just might be a little stiff. But, you know, because of this thing, I think it would hinder it anyway, so I don't mind. And then, you know, you can kind of move this around. It is really stiff, though. Afraid of breaking it, so I'm not going to try. Um, but the legs do come forwards, and... Wow, this thing is so big, I actually have to hold it with both hands to show this. Sorry, try not to knock off my camera here, but the legs come forwards and backwards and outwards. You got a 360 double jointed knees. Now, I believe these are double jointed. And then on the feet, they're ankle rockers. So, yeah, pretty good in terms of articulation. Pretty amazing. And just like the Hulk, the detailing here is absolutely incredible. This is a really good set. It's a great opportunity to get the Hulk and the Hulkbuster. Um, if you did buy these two when they were originally released, you might be upset that they're re-releasing them and might not want to go after them. But uh, as for me, I never picked them up, and I'm really happy they released them together as I've really wanted these two figures over time. And it's just an amazing set, and uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. But just really quickly to show off the size comparison, and to just really quickly to show off a size comparison before I end the video, I'm going to compare it with a couple other of the more modern Build-A-Figures. Here we have the Hulkbuster with Thanos, and as you can see, the Hulkbuster is a lot bigger. And uh, over here we have the Hulkbuster with Call Obsidian, and they're roughly the same scale. I would say that the Hulkbuster does look kind of bigger to me, but, you know, they're both roughly the same scale. And then also just to show off Hulk with Thanos really quickly. So as you can see, mostly they're roughly the same scale, but it does look like the Hulk's just a tiny bit bigger, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, overall I think this is an amazing set. It's really amazing. Great way to get the Hulkbuster and the Hulk. Um, thanks for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.